I'm not crazy. Mr. Gizzi knows me. I'm a Christian. I just need some help. And then the U.S. government will take it from here. New tonight, part of a 911 call Tony Serigliano made hours before he, his wife, and two teenage sons with autism disappeared from their Fremont home. Good evening, everyone. I'm Juliette Dragas. At 9.30 tonight, the Fremont police chief told me there's no news. They're still looking for Tony, Suzette, Brandon, and Noah Serigliano. No one's heard from the family since early Sunday morning, hours after that 911 call was made. Police are looking for a 2005 Toyota minivan like this one with a Michigan plate DJL1982. We have been following this developing story all day. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez joins us now with the latest. Yeah, Juliet, the neighbors were caught off guard by the news of this missing family. And of course, you did call to the chief for an update. And at this point, that family has still not been found. This don't make sense. It's such a nice family. What, what's going on? Authorities have not been able to track Tony Cirigliano's cell phone. His wife, Suzette, and sons Brandon and Noah Cirigliano left their phones at home. But a day before the Monday disappearance, he called 911, concerned about the September 11th terror attacks. I need some police protection immediately. Okay, for what? It is of vital national interest. It is related to September 11th, and people want to erase me from the face of the earth. I am not crazy. Fremont officers went to the family's home, concerned for Tony Cirigliano's mental well-being. They made contact with Suzette, had, had uh, looked at the two boys and made sure that they were okay, and frankly left the contact on the 16th. Just, if you need anything, give us a call. We're here to help. It wasn't until Suzette Cirigliano's mother, who has dementia, was found wandering the area by a neighbor that police learned that their extended family was worried. It is kind of scary to think a whole family can just disappear. The search now an all hands on deck effort for the department, which is also getting help from Nuego County and Michigan State Police. Investigators say they believe the family was last seen in a silver Toyota Sienna, but a neighbor tells us that minivan was not their normal car. I just around. saw it the first time a couple of weeks ago. The dad was driving it. The boys were kind of looking in the back like Maybe it was something they got new or something. Neighbors are asking the family for a sign if they are safe. Stay safe. Just if you choose not to come back, uh, it's, that's your guys' choice. I respect that. Just at least let the family know. Got to take care of grandma and let friends know. Now, if you have any information on this family's whereabouts or where you, if you may have even seen that minivan, you're asked to call the Fremont Police Department at 231 924 2100.